I've been taking stuff all my life since I was 15. I'm 51 now. I started off with Xanaxes and Valiums. Valiums. I hurt my back roofing one time in South Carolina. I went to the doctor. He sent me to pain management. Pain management, give me some shots in my back, cortisone, and give me 60 pills a month. Seven years ago, I started taking Percocets. Oxycontins got dried out for about two or three months and started back taking them again. The Percocets here in the last four years, it got bad. In the last seven months, man, I was eating about two to three hundred milligrams a day of a pandas and Percocets. You can get them anywhere. <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> I mean, you can get them anywhere. They're everywhere. Plentiful. I mean. And you can go to the doctor. I mean, I was taking per Percocets off the street when I went into um, pain management. Give me a urine test and give them 350. I was dirty when I went in, but yet they wrote me Percocets and methadone. About three months later, I give another test and I piss dirty with Xanax. And they give me Oxycontin, take me off that and give me Oxycontin. 20 milligrams, 60 of them. They feel me, you just go, oh, you hurt here. But far as background, no. I mean, when I went in, I was dirty. That should have told them everything. To be honest about it, um, I mean, that's not pain management. That's uh, giving pills, which it's not the person's fault, it's the doctor's fault. The doctor is responsible. This last time, at least once a week, I'm going to quit. Sometimes every day, I might make it a couple hours, and that's that. I couldn't make it. I'd have to have it. If I wake up in the morning, i got to have me 8 to 10 Percocets and 240 milligrams of Pandas. So that's about, what, roughly 120 milligrams. That's just to start the morning off. A couple hours later, about four or five more Perks. A few more hours later, about three or four or five more. This goes on all day. Get off work, go reload for tomorrow. You have to have them because your body, you're addictive to them. And if you don't have them, it's a nightmare. You can't function, you can't do nothing. I quit cold turkey when I went into detox. <laughs> I had no choice. I mean, they gave me some medicine, but not narcotic medicine. I mean, but that didn't help. I mean, at the end, you got, I got tired of being sick and tired. I done lost everything. Rough. It was a nightmare. I mean, I didn't think I was going to make it. It feels like 10 times the flu over and just wanted to die. When you lose everything and you lose yourself mostly, when you hit that bottom, and you lost every friend that you've ever had. It takes you a place where you never want to go. I mean, it robs you physically, mentally, and spiritually. And if you have friends or have a friend, you won't have them long because the drugs take over. You lie, you cheat, you steal. just to get high.